Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. So the weather has been a bit strange this morning. It's kind of been raining on and off, but I figured that is the perfect setting for a nice cozy day at home to celebrate the start of September cozy season. I have a really nice relaxing day planned. I want to make an autumn summer pot, read as much as I possibly can, and do a couple of cozy fall activities this evening. But first I'm going to stop at the bookstore and pick up some books that are on my fall reading list. So if all of that sounds good to you, grab something to drink, get cozy, and let's kick off September together.
So I just got home and I want to show you the books that I have on my fall reading list this year. So I picked up a copy of The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana and I apologize in advance if I mispronounce any of the author's names. On the back it says it's a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family and a new love changes the course of her life. So it sounds like it's going to be a really nice happy read. I think I'm going to start with this one today. Next on my list is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This book is pretty popular from what I understand. It says it's an irresistible tale of wizardry, science, and forbidden love, and it sounds like there's a little bit of a romance and suspense element too, so I think this is going to be a really fun and exciting read for this autumn. Next on my list is a classic fall read, Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. This book and movie have been very popular over the past couple of years. I think they first came out in the 90s, but there's been a new excitement around the movie and book, and I love the movie so much, so I figured it was about time that I finally read the book. It's a story about two witches who are sisters who live together in a Massachusetts town, and it's very fun and whimsical. There's a little bit of romance as well, but I think ultimately at the end of the day, it's kind of about friendship and sisterhood. So I think I'm going to save this for October so I can be in a really witchy Halloween mood that month, um, but I'm very excited to read this one. And finally, I got a copy of Slewfoot, A Tale of Bewitchery by Brom. So I actually didn't know this when I got this book, but the author is also an illustrator, which I think is so cool. The artwork is absolutely beautiful and really creepy and eerie. From reading the summary of this book, I got the sense that it's similar to the movie the Witch with Anya Taylor-Joy. Um, I don't know if that's true, I just kind of got that sense that it was a similar setting and kind of atmosphere, and I personally loved that movie, so I'm very excited for this book. However, if you're someone who doesn't like scary movies and that kind of creepy, eerie aesthetic of a book, I probably wouldn't suggest this one because it sounds like it's going to be a little bit um, scary. But I will let you know what I think of it. I'm personally so excited to read this for Halloween. So that is everything on my fall reading list so far, but I would love to know what you're reading and if you have any fall book recommendations. I'm always looking for new things to read. It just started raining again, so it's the perfect atmosphere for some nice cozy reading, but first I want to take you with me to make an autumn simmer pot so I can make the whole house smell like fall before I get all settled and snuggly with my book. One thing I wanted to mention about the simmer pot is they're perfect for if you have any produce or herbs that are kind of about to go bad but maybe not all the way where they're not good enough to eat anymore but they still smell okay. So I like to use up any produce this way that's kind of on its way out before it expires completely. Now that the whole house smells like fall, I am so ready for my fall reading list. I'm going to make myself some tea, grab a blanket, and start reading.
a quarter of the way through the book so far and I'm loving it. I can't recommend it enough. It's so cozy and cute and whimsical. It's set in England and the way the author describes the house where the story takes place is just absolutely wonderful. It's like my dream home. There are plants and books everywhere and I love all of the characters so far. I can't wait to keep reading this but I'm going to put it down for the evening because Alex and I are going to watch a movie and do an autumnal craft. We're going to make these um, paper lantern houses. I'm planning on decorating for autumn over the next couple of weeks so I think they're going to look really nice around the house. So I'm gonna go get changed into something comfy and pick out a movie for tonight. Floating in midair when you are. 